Hello friends, long time no see. Okay, so I'll wait for everyone to get here and then we'll go ahead and get started. But the last time I went live, I was in a whole nother country. I had planned on going live way more when we were there, but it was just so hard to not head down to the pool every day. It was just too beautiful. So I apologize, but I'm here, I'm back. And I have some really fun makeup looks planned for you guys for this month. Um, so while I was in Mexico, we did a makeup tutorial using just the concealer coverage. And I got a lot of questions on that. So I kind of wanted to expand and do kind of a different type of makeup look. Um, I've done this totally a ton of times. In fact, like, I don't know, a couple years ago, this was like my go-to makeup look because it's just phenomenal on anyone and everyone. So very excited to share it. So I labeled this tutorial, if your makeup feels dry or flaky, try this trick. And I feel like this is a really good tutorial if you have already grabbed the Liquid Touch foundation, which is still 25% off. If you have not grabbed it yet, make sure to comment color match down below and I'll give you a full recommendation of what colors you are. Um, so make sure to comment color match down below and I'll give you a recommendation on everything that we're using. Hello, hi guys, hola. Um, so we are going to be doing this makeup look. So I said that this is a good t tutorial to the tutorial to go with this liquid touch because we're going to add in the BB cream. So if you've already grabbed, this, this is a really good recommendation for you guys to mix it with and then also to use by yourself or by itself. So it's a really good combination, um, tutorial. Yay. Hi guys. I know I missed you guys too. We were in Loreto, Mexico. It's on the, um, um, I forget what the ocean's called now. The sea, something sea. Anywho, I have a whole like detail on it, um, on my Instagram. And then I also, I'm going to be writing a full blog post covering how you get there, what you want to do when you're there, all the tips, tricks, everything about traveling there. It's the best resort for families. Um, so if you want to make sure to get that, um, to see that blog post, make sure you subscribe right here in the comments at rayahope.com. Scroll all the way down past the contact sheet. Don't fill that one out if you're wanting to subscribe. Scroll past that and you'll see a little area um, where it says subscribe. So make sure to do so there to um, see my blog post on our trip. No, it doesn't cost anything for a color match. So all you have to do is comment color match and I will private message you. See you, Cortez. That's what it is. <laughs> Just like in me. Yay! Hi, guys. Missed you guys so much, too. So, this tutorial will be super great for mature skin or if you um, are just struggling with your makeup in general, feeling or looking cakey or dry or flaky. Um, this combination is going to be really incredible for all of that, and I will tell you why. So, I'm going to go ahead and pin up my hair. So, first things first. If you are experiencing any of that, um dryness, flakiness, any of that, those issues. Some really key components on getting a really flawless coverage is your pre-makeup routine. I, I feel like I beat this with the dead, I beat this with the dead horse. I beat whatever, you know, the phrase I'm trying to say, <laughs> but this is actually a really good tutorial or a little, uh, like routine. So the first thing you're going to do is your setting spray. You spray this all over your face and let it dry. Just like I did in my tutorial in Mexico, I showed you guys my pre-makeup routine. Make sure to watch that one on the replay if you want to see how to exactly do this. Then I apply my mattifying face primer all over my skin. I let this sit on your skin for like three to five minutes, then do your setting spray again. So again, setting spray, primer, setting spray. That is so crucial on getting that flawless coverage as well as preventing dryness, flakiness. Our kittens are so good. We miss them so, so much. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram. My name there is Rhea Hope. I'll give you guys the direct link right here in the comments. Um, make sure you follow me there and watch the Instagram stories, which if you click the little profile picture, like me up in the top left-hand corner, if you click that, the stories start to play. So make sure to catch all of the stories there for like real day in life. I always take you guys along with me. Okay, so now we have our pre-makeup routine done, our setting spray primer setting spray. So now we're gonna do our foundation coverage. So I'm gonna use the powder concealer brush to apply, and this is gonna be really important because um, I feel like it just blends it really easily and it kind of is a good surface topper to get this product on. So we're gonna use the BB Flawless Complexion Enhancer in the shade Honey, and hopefully it doesn't spew all over because I took it on an airplane. Um, so we're gonna do about that much right on top. 
Okay, close this up. And then you're gonna use your Liquid Touch foundation, and I do, I don't know, like three-ish squirts directly on top of that. Um, the reason I do the BB cream first is because it's a thicker consistency, so the Liquid Touch doesn't like go down into the brush. I found that the other place that dries are your eyelids. Um, so you can actually do this routine on your eyelids as well. So keep keep on watching, and I'm gonna show you guys how. I'm like breaking out like crazy because I always break out when I wear SPF. So you guys get to see the great coverage on this. So now I'm gonna use my powder concealer brush and we're just going to sweep this all over. So something else that I really love about mixing with the BB Flawless and check out the, the eyelids, put it on your eyelids. Um, another thing that I really love about mixing with the BB cream is that it's a different like, um, consistency of color so it's a really good product to implement into your routine if your makeup is looking um, too pale or too dark because it will totally alter that coloring on your makeup so it's a really good product to have on hand if you with the seasons changing going back into fall I feel like we the summer went so fast um, but so if your makeup's looking a little dark you can mix with a lighter color BB cream okay so the reason I love the BB cream is because it is a tinted, it's like a tinted moisturizer, essentially. It's a very light coverage. It has a natural SPF in it. So it doesn't, if you're allergic to SPF or are sensitive to it like I am, you can use this product without it irritating your skin. It still has the great, amazing ingredients in it that prevent it from clogging your pores. It's not oil-based, um, so you still get a really pretty sheen, but it does have that natural SPF, so it does um, kind of feel like softer like that. So now we went ahead and apply that all over. Now you can see kind of this really wonderful base coat. So you can enhance the coverage by adding a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and just use the BB cream and pop this anywhere else. This also, like I said, is a tinted moisturizer. So it's super, super hydrating. So this is kind of the trick on how to prevent your makeup from feeling or looking dry or cakey is because this is gonna be adding in that like moisture into your foundation. So you're using the liquid touch, which is more of a matter coverage and then mixing with the BB cream, which is that more hydrating coverage to equal out to this really phenomenal soft coverage. Also, really important step on preventing cakiness and dryness are the blending buds. So these you're gonna wring underneath water and then squeeze till no water falls from it. Then they're ready to use. This is gonna kind of implement moisture into your foundation as well. So it's going to also help to prevent that dryness and that cakiness. So we're going to press this in all over and this is really gonna help. So you're gonna apply this all over, bounce this off your skin. And I always bring it down my neck, just like so. Another really key factor on preventing dryness and cakiness is exfoliating. We have two really good things for exfoliating. We have an exfoliating face mask, which you wanna use minimum once a week. And then we also have the uh, cleanser, which has an exfoliate booster in it. Now there are two type, there are two different types of exfoliating. So there's a like a gritty feeling exfoliator, and then the booster that's exfoliating is more of a chemical exfoliator. So two very different types of exfoliators, but both are huge helps on removing that dead skin and possibly the skin that you don't even realize is there until you are making sure that you um, you exfoliate really well. For I see some questions about the setting spray turn this little nozzle up on top and shake really well. Um, sometimes you need a few squirts for it to start pumping, but if you have any issue, we have phenomenal customer service. So just reach out to them to get a new one. That's no problem. Okay, so now that we have our coverage on, so we didn't go super full, but we went enough to hide our blemishes and even out our coverage. Again, love that this is both hydrating and matte all together. So it gives you this really pretty like sheen. So now we're gonna enhance the coverage and I'm gonna go ahead and do the touch, or I'm sorry, the Skin Solution Concealer in the shade Organza. And I'm gonna use this on my under eye. I still am all about that um, triangle shape for me, but I do have many tutorials to show you guys how to also apply your concealer. So now I'm gonna go ahead. Thank you so much for sharing. I so appreciate you. So if you haven't grabbed the BB cream, definitely do so down below. My website is rayahope.com or you can click directly above. I gave you guys my unique website too if you don't wanna go through the blog. Um, but if you're not sure what color you are in the BB cream, just comment color match BB and I will give you a full recommendation. 
um, for what you are. So make sure to comment color match down below if you need help being color matched. It's free and I tell you what products you are and what uh, colors you should wear. All right, so now we're gonna blend out that concealer with our little, little blending bud. I love this concealer so much. I always tell you guys, if you get one thing, it needs to be this concealer because it has caffeine infused in it. So it gives you like a really wonderful firming effect. And it also is amazing coverage. Like if you ever feel like your foundation's not giving you good coverage, you're like, I still see my dark circles or I still see my blemishes, grab this concealer. I'm telling you, you will not complain about that anymore. Skin Solution Concealer. It's amazing. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my setting. So I'm going to use a dry blending bud. I'm going to spritz it with my setting spray. And I'm going to take my Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. This is my favorite, especially when I have blemishes. Because what a setting powder does is not only does it minimize the appearance of pores, but it also kind of gives you like a really tight effect to your skin for those areas. So it actually helps to hide blemishes as well. So love that about it. Um, it also will provide, um, but it also is amazing at absorbing oils. So we were, like I said, in Mexico and it was so humid. So I relied on this product so, so much to keep my makeup in place. It's also amazing if kids are splashing you. <laughs> so we went ahead and did the Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder. It is a little bit messy. You've been warned if you do pop the cap off like I do. I need to know how to use eyeshadow for hooded eyes. Rachel or Rochelle, sorry. I actually did a whole tutorial on that on my mom who has hooded eyes. So make sure to catch that tutorial on the replay as well. It's here saved to my page, Raya Hope. Okay, so now that we have our setting spray on, or I'm sorry, our setting powder on, I'll use a fan brush and just sweep away any excess because we don't need a ton of that. We just want it to simply do its job. Okay, so um, I did want to mention too that... Today is the last day that with any order of $150, you're going to get a free facial cleaning brush. So that is even going to be like above and beyond more amazing for dry, flaky skin. The exfoliating heads of a facial brush. So you put your cleanser on it or you put your cleanser in your face and then you turn on the brush and then you massage it. It removes not only the makeup that's stuck in your pores, so it digs all that out, but it also exfoliates your skin and removes a lot of that dead skin that you otherwise can't get with your hands. This is really working that in. You can use it like on your under eyes, use it on your nose, wherever you find that you get flaky or dry. Using a brush like that which Fancy has my personal favorite one. Um, I personally haven't tried the unique one, but you get it for free for $150 order. So if you're already making a ma uh, makeup order, might as well. Um, however, the Cora 3 is what I personally use, and I left you guys the link with the discount code right there. But today for that free brush, today's the last day. So gift with purchase of $150. Okay, so now we're going to use our pressed powder in the shade Taffeta. <clears throat> Mine's like almost gone. I'm going to use this on my neck first because I always like to blend everything down so it matches really well. And then I'm going to use a padding technique with my Kabuki brush and we're going to blend this in all over. So what this does is it also is going to provide a really nice even layer of coverage. It's also going to use like a setting technique to it as well, which is going to be really important um, for getting that really flawless coverage and it's not drying, so you're probably thinking, I thought we were preventing dry and flaky skin. We are, and you can use this product with that issue because this pressed powder has shea butter and vitamin E infused in it. So it is the softest, silky pressed powder you will ever use. It is so phenomenal. So that was the pressed powder in taffeta that we used all over with a big giant brush. Okay, I'm making a huge mess here. Never wear black in a makeup store. Okay, so now I'm going to use my tapered blusher brush. Brush is super incredible for getting really like a perfect contour every time. If you ever put a contour on, you're like, oh, it looks too dark. It doesn't look blended. It doesn't look right. You need this brush. It's so important. So we're going to do the tapered blusher brush. That's what it's called. And we're going to take our beachfront bronzer. The shade Sunset is still available. So it is while supplies last, so if you haven't grabbed the bronzer yet, definitely do so. 
I personally don't do the prime to set powder because I have more oily prone skin, but my mom has more combination dry skin and that's what I use on her and she loves it. It's a dress. I'll show you guys my dress in a little bit. Um, then top of the ear to the corner of the mouth, go back and forth on this side. Once you begin to see that line, stop and then go along the other side, stop. And then around the forehead, Amazing coverage. Have you ever done half your face from before and after? I haven't live. I've done it like on a picture. Honestly, I never do live because usually I have like try-ons or we go out somewhere and I don't want to have half a face of makeup on. <laughs> but maybe I'll put that on my to-do list on a day that I'm not doing anything. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and blend this out. And again, taper blush or brush coming in so clutch, giving you that warmth, that bronzy, glowy look. It's so pretty. It makes the biggest difference on thinning out your face, warming up your complexion, and it doesn't have to be hard. Contouring and bronz bronzing and all of that, I feel like they make look so difficult nowadays, and it doesn't have to be that way. So you're gonna go ahead and just apply from the base, or I'm sorry, the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth. Just work that in back and forth. Stop like two finger lengths away from your mouth. That's perfect. And again, if you need to be color matched, if you're not sure what color bronzer you are or what blush you are, just make sure to comment color match down below. I'm so sorry for your loss. But if you ever need help with your makeup, you holler at your girl. Okay, so now for blush, we're going to do the shade uh, Supple. This one's a really pretty blush color. If you're really not into blush, it's a pretty peachy color. I'm very, very lightly touching this on my cheek. Just like this, using the Setting Powder Brush, which is also from Unique. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over onto the apple of my cheek, work up to the hairline. This one also has a really pretty sheen to it, so it acts almost as a highlight too. But this is a really pretty blush color, especially for fall, because it gives you this like warm kind of undertone. Um, so Tanya, I would make sure that you're exfoliating on your under eye and you're using your unique eye cream before you put on your makeup. Okay, so now for highlight, we're going to do the Touch Elmo Luminizer in the shade Pearly. This is my favorite highlight. Just going to pop that on the bridge and tip of the nose, highest parts of the cheekbones, Cupid's bow. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you could do me a huge solid and click that share button, bottom left-hand corner, that helps me out so much. Whether you share on your wall or your friend's wall, I thrive off word of mouth, so I am I just am so thankful for those of you that do share me with your family, your friends, your coworkers, um, anyone, everyone. Share my website, rayahope.com. Tell them to follow me here on Facebook and Instagram. Honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so for brows, we're going to do the brow pencil in the shade brown. This is called the brow sculpting pencil. You get your little brush on this side, and then you have your pencil on this side. So it comes almost like in a triangle shape. And then you're gonna go from the tear duct, you're gonna, that's where you're gonna start. You can go straight up, that's where it caps. Okay, that's where you stop. And then you can always take your pencil and align it from your nose to your pupil. That's kind of where your arch should be. You don't have to have like a heavy, intense arch, but just it's a good rule of thumb. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna follow the natural shape and direction of my brow. I'm using an extreme light hand. I'm barely grazing my face with this product. One, because it's very pigmented, so you don't need a lot of it. And two, it has a gel-like texture to it, so it's gonna be kind of, for lack of a better word, mushy feeling. And that is good because you're actually not using a lot of the product, and it has that vitamin E, argan oil, and keratin infused in it. So as you see, I didn't completely fill it all in because I'm gonna use my little brush to do all the work. So we kind of applied the product and now we're gonna smoosh out the uh, product throughout the brow. It's going to not only lay the brow hair down because it has that gel-like texture to it, but it's gonna make it just look so soft. I love this product. I was, one thing I didn't like about the old formula is how fast I went through it. I really don't like having to repurchase something every month or every other month. And this pencil is going to last you triple, quadruple as long as the previous one is. So love, I don't know about you guys, I was actually just complaining about this today. 
I have like one product that I buy at like Target, one product I buy at Ulta. There's nothing more annoying than buying and checking out one product, right? So I love that our website, you get everything you need. You have your foundation, your skincare, your brushes, your pencil, you have everything all in one place. So not only does it make putting on your makeup really smooth and easy because all these products work to get makeup looks, uh, but it also, you have me. You have me to help you with the products that you're purchasing. So if you get something in the mail, it's not like Ulta where you can't call her and say, uh, you sold me on this product, but what do I do with it again? She's going to say, I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> you have me that's like, hey, Victoria, nice to see you again. This is what you use it for, or here's a tutorial to watch to see how to use it. So you got me, girl. So make sure to shop right here, rayahope.com. Um, for all of your makeup and your skincare and your hair products and all the good stuff, make sure to check out my uh, website for that. I have it pretty organized to try to help you guys out with um, shopping really easy. But if you ever can't find anything, if you're like, Rhea, I wanted that eyeliner that you said is only $15 and you said doesn't smudge or give me raccoon eyes, but I can't find it on your website, message me and I'll give you the link. My mom does like the brow pencil. I think she actually likes the pomade and... Po uh, powder and pomade better for her she says it's easier to use so that's always an option too which is totally okay I also actually also have tutorials using that too glad you didn't don't add purple highlights no I don't have purple highlights absolutely not <laughs> just platinum hair for me but I do use the um purple mask which takes away the brassy yellowness no we are, all of these unique skincare and makeup products all go off UE standard, EU standards, which are European standards, and they are very strict on like what ingredients are allowed to be in your products. We're also cruelty free, and we are primarily made here in the US, which I think is awesome. And we're all women ran, so you're supporting not, not some big CEO that works at Ulta, you're supporting someone like me who has two kittens and two children and a husband and an actual like family that you get to see and interact with and like get to know on a personal level. So I can't say thank you enough for shopping on my website because it really does make a huge impact for us in our family. Okay, so for our eyes, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do kind of a crazy eye look for me. I feel like I don't do eye looks like this very often anymore. I don't know, call me old. Getting old guys, I've been doing this for Five and almost five and a half years. <laughs> oh my gosh, almost six years. February will be six years. That makes me feel really old. Also, don't go watch my old tutorials because they're like so embarrassing at this point. <laughs> I've come a long way. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do my palette, my go-to palette I use, you guys see, almost every single day. So what's cool about these palettes is you get to customize them. You get to choose the colors that you pick for your palettes. So my go-to, I haven't changed out this palette in God knows how long because these colors are just perfect for all year. So my colors are Marvelous, Impish, Astute, Optimistic. One more time. Marvelous, Impish, Astute, optimistic. So those are my colors, my go-tos. So we're going to start with the shade Astute, which is that lighter brown. We're going to take it on the fluffy crease brush, and I'm going to pop this into the crease. This is my go-to palette because these colors are all very soft and very neutral colors, so they go with every and any eye color I decide to throw on. So I use these kind of as my base. So I'm going to apply this into the crease and then just start swirling upward. And then make sure you have your comments on because my assistant, my beautiful, wonderful assistant, is commenting what I'm saying as far as what colors I'm using with the links. So make sure to check that out. What is similar to Astute would be the shade Impish. So we're going to use the shade Impish right here, which is this really pretty peachy neutral color. I'm going to pop that on right above that. So I'm going to go over this right here. Okay, thank you. And I'm gonna pop this in just like so. All right, so now that we have kind of like our base, 
Now I'm gonna take the liner side and grab this color Marvelous, which is a darker um, brown. Would you pop it into the crease if you have hooded eyes? Yes, you still would. For blue eyes, I feel like the sky's the limit because anything and everything looks phenomenal. <laughs> Hey, Raya, so make sure to catch this on the replay. I show you all the tips and tricks on how to prevent dry and flaky skin um, underneath your foundation. But to summarize, we did the BB Flawless mixed in with our foundation, and we talked a ton about what products are the best for exfoliating. Um, so make sure that you comment color match down below for a full recommendation on what to use. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the fluffy crease brush again, very light-handedly grabbing the shade Marvelous and popping this into the outside corner to create a little bit of depth. And I'll be sure to link my full makeup look right here. I always do so on my looks tab after I get off. I just wrote it in the comments. That is a really cool tab to save um, on your phone or computer. So I always save my full product list in the colors and the twirl and the finish photo. So um, if you're ever like, oh gosh, I loved that eyeshadow or I loved that lip combination or I love that foundation look, what did she use? What colors? You can shop it so easy right there. All right, so now I'm gonna take my crease brush, which is just like a short stubby brush and I'm gonna grab the shade Optimistic and I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner. This is a really pretty little highlight shade to have on hand. You can actually use it for your highlight there as well. All right, so now our, our eye look you think would be done. So now we're gonna take the star of the show, the splurge cream shadow in the shade Unapologetic, and I'm going to use the cream brush to grab that. This is a really stunning shade of brick red. Um, it's kind of like a cross between a brick red and a really pretty brown. Um, I wouldn't say no to going back to having a pixie haircut. Right in this second, right now, probably not, but I uh, wouldn't, wouldn't say no in the long run. All right, so now we're gonna go on this side. So again, the splurge cream shadows are super fun. They are a cream base, but dry into a powder finish. They're super easy to use. You wanna definitely grab this brush. This is the cream shadow brush. And like I said, very simple, very easy to use. They are crease proof, smudge proof. So really great if you have hooded eyes or a lot of fine lines and wrinkles on your eyes because it won't accentuate those, those things. So we're gonna just kind of pat this on all over. It blends so beautifully. And now that we have that on, I'm gonna go in again with the fluffy crease brush. And now we're just gonna blend those two colors together. And then we're done. And look how pretty that is. I feel like someone had asked earlier what colors are good for blue eyes. I feel like this eye look would make your eyes pop out of your head. So simple. But like I said, if you're just now tuning in, today is the last day to be able to get the free gift with purchase of $150. So definitely don't miss out on that, which is that free facial free facial brush I talk today all right eyes are finished so now we're going to go ahead and um, set our makeup using the setting spray and this is going to add moisture into our foundation which helps it to expand and look so much more natural it's also going to add like i said moisture in which is going to help to prevent that flakiness and that dryness so this is another really key factor on preventing that flakiness to your skin. Um, in the beginning of this tutorial, we also talked a lot about the setting spray and the primer. The hydrating face primer, if you have very dry, very flaky skin, is the one I would go with. I personally use the mattifying face primer, which still isn't drying, but the hydrating is going to be a really important factor. Really need help with the lunch tool? Yes, Linda, send me a message here on Facebook and I'll be so happy to help you. All right, so we went ahead and applied our eyeshadow, which again, I will go ahead and link the full list in the comp or in my looks tab. So make sure to catch that on, or make sure to click that and save that to your browser. And now let's do our lips and our lashes. So first things first with our lashes is the lash primer. 
The setting spray is also from my website, rayahope.com. It's called the Touch Behold Setting Spray. And it's on my website right here. This is where you can shop all the products and the makeup and the tools that I'm using. So make sure to shop right there. It says uniqueproducts.com forward slash Rhea Coleman. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and apply this all over our top lash. So this lash primer is amazing for getting extra length to your lashes. It's also very hydrating for your lashes. So if you are trying to grow them out, this is a really good product to have. All right, so now we're going to go immediately in with our twisted mascara. Hello, hi Kimberly. We're going to go from the base lash all the way up with this and apply this all over. So this mascara is so, so good. It has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it. So it is so incredible at making your lashes grow as well. All right, so make sure to um, shop on my website, rayahope.com. Click shop beauty, and that's where you can find all the makeup, all the skincare, and everything has a love a guarantee. So if you don't love anything for any reason, you can just return it for your money back. Thank you, Julie. So now we're gonna go on this side. I always like to do the Twisted Mascara right after the primer because I like it when the primer is a little bit wet and tacky. I feel like it mixes with the Twisted Mascara really, really well. And again, if you're just now tuning in, make sure to comment color match down below and I'll give you a full recommendation. I'll be messaging you. So make sure to check your requested folder, which is on your inbox. If we've never chatted before, that's where my message will go. So make sure to check your requested folder if you commented so. Another way to message me is super, super easy. All you have to do is tap on my face, a description window comes down, and you're going to see my name, Rhea Hope. Once you click on my name, Rhea Hope, it's going to take you to my Facebook page, and there you'll see the option to message me as well. Yes, I always do the lash primer on my mom as well. As anything, any kind of eyes, any kind of eyelashes, sorry, I would do the lash primer. All right, so now we're going to go in with this smaller wand, which is another reason that I love this mascara. And what I like to do with this for hooded eyes, I'll go in first with this. So not the bigger wand, the smaller one first and apply a coat because that will help to like elevate your lashes to be a little bit longer. So then when you do go in with the bigger wand, you don't have to be worried about it getting on your eyes. Oh my gosh, yes, Melissa, I feel you, girl. And I would definitely do the Lash Primer and the Twisted Mascara. Those two are my absolute favorites. There's also the Epic Mascara that's waterproof too, if you wanna try that. But I would definitely do the Lash Primer underneath. So that was the 4D mascara that we put on. Uh, I love the little topper that that gives. It gives that a little extra oomph to your lashes. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I know, it comes with the... It comes with the trade, I guess. The gift of gab. <laughs> um, yes, do I have a tutorial with the new lash extensions? I have a ton of new tutorials with the lash extensions. Make sure to head to my page, Raya Hope, scroll down, and all of the beginning of August, I use them for a week straight. You guys know, and I'm never one to be like deceiving or change the way I feel with a product. I feel like that's what kind of made you guys trust me because I've never been like, oh, now I love lash extensions because now we have them. I've always been super transparent and very honest about like not, it's not that I don't like lash extensions. I just prefer mascara. That's just my own personal preference. I find it easier to put on. I feel more confident with it on. Not to say that I don't feel more confident with lashes. There's nothing like wearing false lashes that just makes you feel like a queen, totally honest. If I do photo shoots, or have like family photos, I always wear lash, false lashes, always. Nothing makes me feel a little extra with lashes. Um, but for an everyday, wearing lash extensions every day is, or sorry, wearing false lashes every day is not my cup of tea. Um, but I do, because I know that's my job to show you how to use things makeup wise, I do have a ton of tutorials on how to put them on and tips and tricks on how to do so. Coming from someone who's like not very good at doing them, I found the way to put them on successfully. So make sure to check those out. They're all saved here on my page, Ray Hope. Can you go over the special again? As uh, will you go over the specials again? I can. Um, there's so much on sale. <laughs> so much. Ready for a word vomit? So the foundation is 25% off. 
right now. Make sure to comment color match down below if you need it. Um, free gift with purchase. If you spend $150 on my website, rayahope.com under uh, shop beauty, you get a free facial brush, which is how you cleanse your face, remove all that dead skin. And then there's also the eye essential bundle, which comes with a liquid eyeshadow of your choice, a mascara of your choice, an eyeliner of your choice. And then there's the August specials, which there are three different types of specials that literally come with everything you want for eyes. Comes with your magnetic liner, your magnetic lashes, your tweezer for the lashes. Um, and I feel like it comes with something else. And eyeshadow? comes with something else comes with so much so much but there's three options and if magnetic lashes aren't your cup of tea either there's also a bundle that contains the mascaras so lots of options underneath august special right here on my website i'll leave it for you guys again here in the comments that's my website click on that and then um oh there we go uh, yes, liquid foundation 25% off, gift with purchase as 150 eye essential bundle, and three August specials. So, there you go. Cleansing cloths, thank you. I was like, I know it's something to do with your eyes, which I love the cleansing cloths. There's no alcohol in them, and there's so many good vitamins for your skin. They're incredible. They're the only thing I've used for five and a half years to take off my makeup. Only thing. They're great. Lips. All right, we're going to throw on a Kylie Jenner lip liner because we still can't get our things together with having new lip liners. <laughs> but here we go. Oh my gosh, Kimberly, you're so funny. I wish. wish I could line you all up. That'd be such a fun day. The finishing spray is going to, it's not on sale, sorry, uh, but it is available underneath face. And it is worth every single penny. And it will last you nine plus months. Cleansing cloths are a hit. They're so good. All right, so we're going to line our lips. And I'm going to fill in a little bit. Just a wee bit. And then we're going to go in with the lipstick in the shade Minted. which I love these, lip these matte lipsticks. They are so creamy. And they have a phenomenal hold for being a lipstick. All right. Blend that out into my lip liner. Aw, thanks, Terry. Had it for over a, amen, sister friend. She said, I just finished my first bottle of finishing spray, the Touch Bold Setting Spray. Had it for over a year. I do my makeup almost every day and I use this four times in my makeup routine. Mine will last me five plus months. And I use it almost every day, four times a day. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the lip gloss in the shade Lux over top to change the color a little bit. This makes it more of a, a little bit darker of a nude, but it gives you the most gorgeous high gloss Look, isn't that so pretty? I've been obsessed with this combination. So again, it's the lipstick, the matte opulence lipstick in the shade Minted with the lip gloss in the shade Lux on top. Isn't that so fun? It's the perfect combination of like nude, but not too nude. So good. Yes, the cleansing sticks are not coming back. Sad face, I love those too. But I have been using the cleansing balm. So what I'll do is I'll take like a clump of cleansing balm and I'll apply on my eyes. Don't open them. And then I'll take my cleansing cloth, which is on sale in the August specials, and I'll massage off. And it's it's almost better than the cleansing stick. And it's even more hydrating and nourishing for your lashes. You got to try it. Super good. All right. So that was the whole makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will go ahead and leave you guys the full makeup list right here on my looks tab. Make sure to save that. Oh my gosh. That is so sweet. Thank you so much for buying my sunglasses, which by the way, BT dub, my sunglasses are on sale. If you haven't grabbed them yet, they're in the uh, Top Fox summer sale, which I'll leave you guys the link in the comments. Make sure you use the code. I believe it's refreshed on this link that I'll pin right here. Or I'll write in the comments right now. Um, but that was my home makeup look. I miss you guys. It feels so good to be home tomorrow. I will be live. I'm going to try to go live every day for the rest of the month. 
Let's see if I can do it right. I have a really fun try on plan with you guys over on Instagram with Judith March. If you've ever seen anything from that boutique, it is to die for. Everything is so dang cute. This dress is actually from them. Let me show you. If I get my my shirt and shake out all my setting powder. How cute is this? It's just like a cute little maxi. I'm like all inclusive vibes. <laughs> so I need something loose. But isn't that so pretty? They have so many cute things. Judith March is the name of their boutique. Make sure to catch my Instagram stories, which again, I'll leave you guys my Instagram. Rahia again. Click on that. Click on the profile picture and the stories will begin to play. I'm actually going to hop off right now and put that up for you guys. Rat meow. My eyeshadow is the shade Unapologetic in the Splurge Cream Shadow. And then I did my go-to palette, which is Impish, Marvelous, Astute, and Optimistic. All right, guys. I love you guys. I'll see you over on Instagram. Bye.